my friends. We are working on the second part of the day one instructions. Our day one instructions say, um, using WEZ 1061, that is one of my favorite colors. It is a green color that's called Canopy, and it has, um, it's a variegated thread, and I really love that one. But we are supposed to backstitch around the L, leaving the left side and a quarter inch on the top and bottom unstitched. If you look at the picture of the project, where's my picture? If you have the, if you've got the kit, then you'll have the big picture. If not, you can refer back to the picture in the materials you got. See how I have green? Not here, not here, not down this side because those I did the orange, but I have that green all along here, up here, over and up and one more stitch on the top. That's the one that we are gonna start with and that's what we're gonna do. And that will be complete everything that we need to do for this first block. And you're looking right now going, she's not using the green thread. That's right, because remember, I need to use something that contrasts enough that you can see it. Um, I'm using, because this is a, I have a size five thread, I'm using the bigger needle, the 22. Okay, put it in and kind of adjust your tail. Tie a knot in the end, you remember how to do that. Okay, we are going to start, it says a quarter of an inch in. Now, a back stitch is the stitch that we're gonna be doing, and a back stitch just goes backwards. So if you could imagine um, numbers on a number line that looked like this. One, two, can you see my numbers? There we go, three, four, five, and I'm gonna put little dots right here. And this might be my math nerdness coming through again because I called it a number line. We are going to come out at number two and go down at number one and then we're going to go out at number three, come back stitch to number two, out at number four, back to number three, out at number five, back to number four. So the first place we start is right here at two, okay, because we need to go back to one. If we started right here at one, we'd be going the wrong way. So even though I'm supposed to start a quarter of an inch from the edge, I'm gonna mark that. You don't need to mark it because it's, um, you can think in your head what it is, but I gotta show you kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, because that is the spot that is number one, I'm gonna start by coming out at, at where number two is gonna be, okay? So we're gonna start by coming out about right here. Okay, that's where number two is. Okay, then we'll go back to number one. I'm gonna turn it this way because I think that's easier for us to see back to number one, forward to number three. Okay, so one, two, three, forward to number three, back to number two. So go down in as close as you can to that last thread. If you get it very far apart, it'll leave gaps in your line and you don't want that. So down at number two. So go out to the new spot, number four, back down in at the old spot, out at the new spot, down at the old spot, out at the new spot, down at the old spot. And you wanna make sure that you hit the corner, not this side of the corner, but the very corner so that there's you've already kind of turned. If you hit it right here, shy of the corner, then you'll have a hard time getting around the corner. So I'm gonna make sure that when I come out, I'm coming out plenty far enough to make the corner. New one, back to the old one out at the new stitch, back to the old stitch, out at the new stitch, back to the old stitch. You'll notice that I didn't turn it right here. Um, as you work, you need to, you will get better and better at what, what direction you can do all the stitches, but if doing it this way works best for you, then just go ahead and rotate it. This is not a huge project, it'll rotate for you. Out at the new, down at the old out at the new. My tail's getting a little bit longer. Watch your tail. You do. There's only one stitch that we do in embroidery that uses double thread. Otherwise, we always want single thread. Out at the new, down at the old. Now, I'm looking at this going, that's probably bigger than one stitch, but it's smaller than two typically, so I'm just going to come out in the middle so that my last two stitches here are about the same size. Out at the new, so back stitch when you're doing a back stitch around a shape, I am always on the black thread on, or on the black yarn on this. I am never on the color, but I'm very close to it the whole time. Out at the new, 
down at the old, out at the new. What we, what you will learn and what we've seen is that when you do a stitch around the outside of a wool shape like this, it will help make the wool pop. I don't know if you can see that 3D-ness um, from here, but that accentuates it and helps it become more kind of puffy or poofy. Okay, out at the new, down at the old, out at the new. Hey, okay, once again, I'm coming up on the corner here <clears throat> and I've managed to time it such that my two stitches would typically be out here somewhere. So I'm gonna divide the space that's left so I come out kind of in the middle of it, and that means I'll have two slightly shorter stitches, but that's better than one big, ugly, long one. Okay, right there. And again, we have the same situation where we need to go just past the corner. And new, down at the old, out at the new, and then down the last one, we'll go down to the back. Tie a knot, make your loop, go through it, wiggle, wiggle till it gets the knot in the right spot, cover it with your thumb, pull tight. Again, this is not a slick thread, so one knot is good enough. I'll just go in and snip fairly close to that. And that, my friends, is our block, our day one L ready to go. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>